Hey everyone, I'm Jason and in today's video I'm going to show you how to enable the Wi-Fi on your Magbox. I got a few guys uh, requesting for me to make this video. It's a really easy setup, so let's get to it. So as you can see I'm getting this page simply because I don't have the Ethernet cable connected. Uh, as you can see on the, there on the right, not connected. Underneath it, it says Wi-Fi disabled. So if you get this message, if you don't, you're going to get the actual settings page. And what you want to do is go to the system settings. Now, right here, first option, network, press OK. So here's wired and here's wireless. Uh, First, I want to mention that not all boxes have built-in Wi-Fi. If you flip your box upside down, look at the model number. It's got to say, it's going to have a W on it. It's going to say W1, W2, W3, but it has to have that W at the end. This box I have right here in this video, this is the MAG322 W1. So it does have the Wi-Fi option. If your box doesn't, I'll put a link in the description of the dongle that you can actually, it's a Wi-Fi dongle. You just plug it in the back of the box. You cannot plug in the front. It has to be in the back and it will give you this option as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into wireless. We're going to click OK. First option, auto. Press OK. So now if you look at the very bottom, to enable the Wi-Fi, it says hit the F1, and that's the red button on your remote control. So I'm going to hit F1. And there you go. So now all the Wi-Fi's are showing. So now you go through the list, find your Wi-Fi, press OK. Head down to, to key or passphrase, and what you want to do is you're going to hit uh, the KB, the keyboard button on the remote control. So you can get your keyboard up, and now you're going to enter your password. So now I'm going to enter mine. Okay, so once you finish typing in your password, just head over to enter. You get to save. Now what you want to do is you're going to head down to network info, press OK. Now head down to Wi-Fi, press OK. And if you did it correctly, if you see your status, it's going to say it's up and you're going to get an IP address. Keep in mind your IP address will be different than, than mine. If you don't have anything yet, just hit the refresh button at the bottom of the remote control. Now exit, exit, and that means you did everything correctly. Once you do that, now we're going to head over to reboot device, press OK, press OK again, and now your box should load up. And there you go. That's all to it. So it's that simple. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And once again, thanks for watching.